tech's supercharged trajectory of growth, record stock highs, and aggressive hiring during the pandemic now in a downturn. From plummeting tech stock valuations to an accelerating wave of layoffs and hiring freezes across the industry, the belt tightening in tech is sending ripples through the public markets, which are already grappling with recession fears and ongoing global supply chain issues. Fresh signs of weakness in the tech industry, more rounds of sweeping job cuts and hiring freezes. Amazon shares lower as it pauses corporate hiring and in anticipation of an economic slowdown. In the ride-hailing space, also Lyft cutting 13% of employees, which amounts to roughly 680 workers. Now, it's the second round of cuts this year and comes after a hiring freeze was announced back in September. Hey, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Massimo Adinho here, your host. Yeah, we are living in such interesting and also scary times. In this video, we're having a chat about those crazy hiring freezes and layoffs that have been happening on the tech industry. I'll be giving you guys my analysis on the current market scenario, what has been happening, why, and my predictions for the future, and also my advice on how to navigate these crazy and unknown times. As you guys already know, many companies, they have started these crazy hiring freezes and layoffs. These companies are not small companies. They are really big companies, such as Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Netflix, Twitter. And just a quick recap, they all have announced that they were going through hiring freezes and we can see now that they have really stopped hiring new people at least on the pace they were doing previously and also these companies they started advertising that they will be cutting people as well for many reasons some of them they are saying that they're going to cut lower performance people google has announced that facebook slash meta they started their hiring freezes now they are also looking into lowering their headcounts for engineers and other areas twitter has had a big layoff another big company was amazon that they also announced hiring freezes and now they they are looking for reducing their headcount as well. And what happened was during the pandemic, people were forced to stay at home. We had to do everything from home, from buying stuff, groceries, medication, entertainment, pretty much everything. That created a really boost on the online market and created a huge demand for new services and products for people. Then these companies, they started hiring like crazy. They had a total hiring frenzy where they started hiring a lot of people to support and serve this, this new demand. But now after two years, the pandemic seems to have gone away and we now have vaccines and people are now allowed to go outside, go to the movies, go to a restaurant, go to a concert. Also, people are now going back to the office. We can now go outside and doing at least a kind of hybrid work. So people are not required to stay locked at home anymore. This also contributed to reduce the amount of online demand that we are having previously. That's now another, another factor that is contributing for hiring freezes and also for layoffs, which is kind of giving it a balance back because we had this huge surge for services and a high demand. Now that the pandemic is gone, things went back to normal. Another factor is the economy is not doing really well lately, as you guys may have seen. Looks like all the countries, they are looking for raising their interest rates, which it's a sign for recession. And of course, whenever there is uncertainty, whenever the interest rates they raise, people get afraid the investors they hold back their money because they don't have a clear sight of what's going on and that always affects companies companies they are being forced to be more effective more efficient spend less money and of course there is this pressure from the investors as well on the companies because they are not doing as well as they have done in the last two years companies they need to adjust all of these things to the market to the investors and to the economy as well i believe this is a mix of many many things that have been happening all of these things they are contributing to these hiding freezes and to these layoffs of course there might be a few other things behind the scenes that we cannot see once 
Elon Musk bought Twitter. He started this whole restructure plan where he cut a lot of people. I think they had 7,500 people and now they have 2,500 people. But he claims that the company was not being profitable and he needed to do some adjustments. This is another factor as well. Also, other branch or other tier of companies that have been affected is startups. Because again, as the economy is not doing well, investors are not willing to throw their money at those startup companies. And then, of course, hiding freeze and layoffs. Now, I just want to share with you guys my personal experience with these kind of scenarios as I have been working on the tech industry for a very long time and I have seen many of these things happening. My first layoff was in 2008 and 2009 where I was working for a company and we had that real estate bubble that blew up and that made lots of companies to crash and I was one unfortunate casualty <laughs> of that crisis and yeah, I lost my job. But luckily, and fortunately, I was able to get another job after three or four months. My second layoff was when I was working for an insurance company, just later on, I believe it was in 2011 or 12. That company got a new C-level executive and they decided to simply outsource everything to India, which affected a lot of jobs. Mine was one of them. I believe we had around 2,000 people fired. There was a massive layoff. And again, the market was good at that time, but something happened to the company and then they had this big restructure and they let people go. The third one was another restructure for another company. I lost my job once again. So that's my tips for you guys to how to navigate these weird and unknown times. One thing that I have been practicing and have been doing on my whole career is to always stay up to date with technologies and trends and also always keep an eye on the market, keep following it really closely and see where the market is going, be it on technologies, frameworks, processes and any new trend that the market is showing so you guys can follow that up and always be on top of your game. That has always helped me to keep myself relevant to the market even when I had to switch jobs forcefully or whenever I want to switch jobs by myself. The times where I was laid off, I was able to get a new job because I had all the skills that the market needed. This is my advice for you guys. We never know whenever bad times are coming, maybe for company getting sold or the market just plumbing because anything can happen. So we don't have the ability to foresee the future, but we can try to be as prepared as possible working on ourselves, working on the skills we see the market needs that will heavily increase our chances of succeeding. My summary here is I believe this is going to be something that we are going to see going away in a near future. I don't know exactly where uh, my crystal ball is not working properly, but I believe we're going to go through these dark times as we have gone previously and things will get better as time passes by. Cool. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like this video, also subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell button so you won't miss any of my videos. I see you guys in the next video.